I don't know if this looks right. This is not applying very elegantly. I know I applied enough water. <laughs> it won't stick. Ah! Oh, just like look at my fingers. This is not giving. Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. I am back from Korea. Guys, I finally got to go to Korea. It has been such a long time coming. I have been wanting to go to the Mecca of skincare for so freaking long and I finally was able to make it out there. And oh my gosh, it was such an incredible experience. All thanks to Crave Beauty and Leah Yu. If you don't know Leah Yu, she's a skincare YouTuber who makes incredible content and she's the founder of Crave Beauty. And you guys know, I talk about Crave Beauty constantly on this channel. I absolutely love their products, right? And Leah Yu had originally reached out. It was actually before COVID and she was like, hey, I really want to take you to South Korea, show you where I'm from, take you to Crave Beauty's labs. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I just don't do brand trips. They're just not something I'm usually really interested in, but I would consider Leah Yu a close friend. I was like, I would love to see how Crave Beauty products are made. I finally got to go and it's all thanks to them. So thank you so much Crave Beauty and Leah for making this experience possible. I want to tell you guys all about the trip, what happened, the highlights, and I want to do it while I test out some Korean skincare products that I bought when I was there. I'm so excited. So let's just jump into it. All the products that I'm going to be using will be linked in the description box below. And let's use some Korean skincare and do this. Okay, so I'm first going to start with cleansing balm just because I have some sunscreen on my face and I'm going to use the Tovagen White Wholesome Cleansing Balm. Not familiar with this brand or any of the products, but let me tell you guys where I got this. If I can open it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as I got to Korea, I was able to meet up with another content creator, James Welsh. I'm sure all of you guys know him. He's amazing. We've been friends for a long time and he kept talking about this one store called Olive Young and I just had no idea what it was. Oh, wait, what? Ah nice. Anyway, they kept talking about the store called Olive Young and I was finally able to go and you guys, how does one describe Olive Young? It's basically like the Korean version of Ulta on steroids. It is a store absolutely packed with Korean skincare, but all the skincare is like so affordable. Like I'm talking 20 bucks or less. Ooh, okay, this has a little bit of a pungent like essential oil fragrance, but you know, it is a cleansing balm. We ended up going to three different Olive Youngs because I wanted to get as much Korean skincare as possible. And as soon as I went in, I grabbed a big basket and just blacked out. This is the first time I have ever gone to a cosmetic store and just grabbed things off the shelf without even looking at the ingredient list because I knew all the formulas were gonna be bomb. Whether it be Cynic, iUnique, Beauty of Joseon, so many good brands and the selections were insane. Like as soon as I walked in the store, there was an entire aisle just with Korean sunscreens and I was like, oh. I've died and gone to heaven. There's no better place than this. And I did spend a lot. I think I spent like $300 in total. But let me tell you, the amount of products I got for $300 is like actually insane. I purchased roughly like a carry-on suitcase size worth of skincare. My carry-on is literally sitting right here. If I were to do that at Sephora, I would have been paying like a house mortgage's worth. Okay, so far this experience is nice. I will say the fragrance is like a little strong for my liking. It's kind of making my eyes like but it definitely feels really nice on the skin. Anyway, if you ever go to Korea, I definitely recommend stopping by an Olive Young. It's just so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. One of the things I also really loved about the trip is just who I was with. One of the big reasons that I don't do like influencer trips is that I get really, really, really anxious being around like other content creators. I don't know why. I mean, just in general, I tend to get anxious in social situations, but when I've had to go to like influencer events, I am like freaking out the whole time. And so I'm imagining spending like three to five Five days with other content creators like terrifies me. But the fact that it was Leah Yu, James Welsh, as well as Sunny, it was just such good vibes, small group energy. It just made the trip really, really enjoyable because I was very worried about that. Because I know for me when I travel, I'm just very go with the flow. Like I'm like, I'll do whatever. If we miss a train, get lost, plans are canceled. Like I'm just very like, okay, it's an adventure. Okay, I actually went to the sink to rinse off just because I don't want to make a mess. It rinsed off super easily. It was actually really pleasant. Sometimes cleansing balms can take a while to rinse off but didn't have that problem with this. So I've really enjoyed this. I want to use this again. Okay, next, I'm actually going to go in with another Crave Beauty product and I hope I'm allowed to talk about this one. <laughs> I think I am, but I really wanted to talk about it because I'm very excited for when this one launches. It is the 100% cold pressed Tamanu oil. And let me show you guys what this freaking oil looks like. I hope the camera picks it up. Let me show you on my fingers. Tamanu oil is the primary ingredient in Great Barrier Relief, which you guys know is like my obsession. Oh man, I don't really know if you're gonna see it. 
but it has this almost like glittery nature to it, even though it's 100% Tamano oil. That looks so pretty. And you guys know I am not a big oil person. They tend to look very heavy and greasy on my skin, but I love Tamano oil for the way that it just like decreases redness and sensitivity. So I'm gonna use it on the dry areas of my face, AKA my cheeks. And I started using this product in Korea and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I love the way that this looks on my skin. It adds such a nice glow without being like way too greasy. Oh, also, I want to say this video is not sponsored by Create Beauty. I'm just, you know, using the products because I love them. Nor was the trip sponsored. It was just such a great experience that I knew you guys would want to hear about. Oh, it just looks so nice on the cheeks. And this is going to be perfect for my flight tonight because I'm going to be flying for, I think, like 13 hours. So I definitely need the moisture and hydration in my skin. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, wait, I really wanted to use this product. Should I just do it? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I got a face mask in Korea and this type of face mask was actually recommended by Leah Yu. This is the Calming Herb Modeling Mask Cup Pack. And essentially you mix it together in this little bowl and it creates the face mask that I guess you slather on your skin. I don't really know how it works. I haven't read the directions. Even though I already applied the other products, I'm just gonna use this one because I really wanna see what it's like. I only got one of these and I think it's a single use mask, but I'm not 100% sure. This one was so cheap. Goodness. There we go. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, dang. That's a really big portion. Is this one face mask? Okay, so basically the way that it works is that you mix this mask together with water. Oh, it even comes with this little spoon. How cute. And it will create the sludge that you apply on your skin. And right now my skin has been, you know, going through a little redness moment. I don't know why my skin has been so irritated. Uh, but let's see. Pour seven to eight spoons of water and mix fast. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five six, seven. Let's hurry. <sighs> I want to show you guys what it looks like, but ah, I'm mixing fast. I don't know if you guys can see what it looks like. Lovely. Okay, this is having a really rough time mixing, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. Ugh, a little better. Okay, it's kind of turned into like a paste. It looks like a clay mask, which I'm a little nervous if it is. Okay, but I think it's good. And okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> There's so much product in this. So it said start with cheeks. I don't know if this looks right. This is not applying very elegantly. Oh my gosh, this is like the worst application. It's like it sticks to itself. It's having a hard time like coming off on my skin. Do you see what's happening? Gosh, I know I applied enough water. I look like the Walmart version of the Hulk. I think it says it's supposed to peel off. I'm not sure though. And it says it takes like 15 minutes to do so. <laughs> it won't stop. Dick. Ah. Oh, just like look at my fingers. This is not giving. Okay, you know what? We'll go with that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That was not a pleasant mask experience. I don't think I'd use one of these again. I look ridiculous. But it's hardening really fast into this like silicone feeling mask. So hopefully or at least we get a satisfying peel off. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, while we wait, I have to tell you guys two stories. First up, my hair. Because I bet you're wondering why my hair is black. It's a long story, bitch, but I'm gonna try to condense. It. Basically, Aaliyah set up this amazing opportunity to get my hair done with this celebrity hairstylist that does a lot of hair for K-pop idols and big people in Korea. And I was so excited. And James and I went to this salon to get our hair done. And I was really hoping to get my hair styled differently because I've had this same hairstyle like basically since I was in high school. So I was really looking forward to it. We went to the salon. Everyone there was so gorgeous. It was so intimidating walking in. I was like, what is my decrepit looking ass doing in a place like this? I was like, I wish there was a face mask just that could cover my entire face like this. But anyway, we sit down, him and his assistants decide that they're going to refresh the color in my hair. So I don't know what they did. I don't think they bleached it. I think they just applied this light blue color to my hair and the color looked absolutely gorgeous. And we were there for a while. I think it took like two and a half hours, maybe three hours to like get my hair done. The color looked really good. I was obsessed with it. And some point between when my hair was colored and when I got back home, something happened to the back of my head that made my hair look like a dead Neapolitan ice cream bar. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't know if the color dissipated out of my hair weirdly or what happened, but basically there was three different colors on the back of my head. And I didn't realize until a week after I got home. And the second I saw the back of my head, I was like, oh no, 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 this is not gonna work. I need to change it. And that's not to say that he did anything wrong. Like they did an incredible job with my hair. Obviously they're celebrity hairstylists. They know what they're doing, but something just happened. I don't know what happened. 
I will never know, but I talked to Brianna, my hairstylist here, and she was like, because your hair has been treated so recently and because there's three different colors on your hair, the best thing to do would be to make your hair dark. Black it is. And I know a lot of you guys were requesting black hair, so you got it. But I will say I was a little bit sad to say goodbye to his hair color because I really liked like the light blue color. It just wasn't meant to be, I guess. Oh, another experience I got to do. I really wanted to do this because I saw it on TikTok. Yes, call me a sheep, but a color analysis test. You know, the ones where they put the colors on your chest and then you're able to get their professional opinion on which colors you're most compatible with. And I was really excited to go in because my whole life I've only ever worn black, white, and blue. I've always been told those are my best colors. Those are the colors I enjoy wearing the most. But I was like, you know what? I want to get a professional's opinion on what colors I work really well with and should wear because who knows? Maybe I'm dressing wrong. Uh, let me tell you, bitch, this was a professional setup. Oh my God. Like they do it for a lot of celebrities and the people working there knew what they were doing. Like you can tell they had studied, got certifications. They knew what they were talking about. And we went through every color in the rainbow. They even recommended eyebrow shape, eyeglasses shape, hair color. The way they had me dressed up, I looked like I was straight out of The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> just because they don't want to see your hair color, right? They want you to see what your skin naturally complements. And we go through the whole thing. It probably took an hour. And guess what colors I'm most compatible with? Black, blue, and white. <laughs> she basically was like, um, yeah, I pretty much solely recommend winter tones for you. I don't really recommend any other types of colors. So while it was a great experience, I found it kind of funny walking away from that being like, okay, great. It's the same colors I've been wearing my whole life. <laughs> but I'm honestly so grateful for it because that means I don't have to buy new clothes. I can just wear the same same shit I've always worn. The interesting thing is that she actually recommended I have black hair. She was like, you look good in blue hair, but I really recommend going black. Look at me now, ho, I went to black. And yeah, it was a great experience. I'm so glad I did it. But definitely funny that they're basically confirming what I already knew, but such a cool opportunity. Okay, you know what? I think it's been like 10 minutes and honestly, this is kind of annoying me. So I kind of just want to peel it off and see how this works. Oh God, I'm going to put paper towels below me. Are you ready for an ASMR peel off experience? It's probably going to be the opposite of satisfying and may make you physically sick, but I'm just warning you now. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's peeling off. Wow, look at that. I think this will be good. Oh, you know what? That is kind of satisfying. Whoa, that was cool. You gotta admit, that was pretty epic. I was hoping for a little bit of a cleaner peel off experience because I mean, look at my face. I look like Rudolph's cousin. It's not coming off my nose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see how the forehead does. Okay, this is probably the least satisfying peel off mask on earth. I'm just gonna go rinse it off. This is not the experience I hoped it would be, but you know what? At least we got to try. I will be right back. Woo, okay, um, that has to go down in history as the most unpleasant rinse off experience ever. I had to rinse my face three separate times because there's still little bits on my skin. On the plus side, my skin feels very soft, Um, feels very nice, and my face isn't too red, but I don't know, I do not recommend that product. <laughs> and I still feel like I have little bits of the mask left over on my skin. Ugh. Okay, next up for a cleanser, I'm so excited to try this one out because it was recommended by both James Welsh and Leah Yu. It is the Papa Recipe Eggplant Clearing Enzyme Powder Cleanser. Now, I'm not a huge powder cleanser person. I typically prefer water-based cleansers, but powder cleansers are technically better for the environment because they don't weigh as much, so it reduces emissions, and it's just nice and small, and they both really recommended it, so I'm excited to try this one out. So let me tell you about this stay in Korea. We were staying in Seoul, the capital city of South Korea. And flying in was so cool because I was flying right at sunset. So I was like looking out the window, seeing the city. And I was so intent on seeing North Korea. I just really wanted to see it from above. And it was crazy because I could see the line of delineation between South Korea and North Korea. It was so beautiful from above and just absolutely insane to see. But we are staying in a section of Seoul called Gangnam, which I'm sure all of you know. Open Gangnam style. It was like a really nice area. I was very impressed, but not super surprised because I know where a lot of like plastic surgery offices are, where people get treatments, celebrities live. It's just a very popular area. And I was just so blown away by the size of Seoul. Like it is such a mind-blowingly huge city. Oh, okay. So definitely my favorite thing about South Korea, besides the skincare, of course, is the food and the coffee. Holy shit. Like I've always liked Korean food. I've always enjoyed it, but the food there was like, 
Oh my God, it was so freaking good. Whether it was barbecue, takeout food, and then the cafes. Y'all know I'm a coffee addict. I love a good cafe moment. And I've never been anywhere in the world with as many cafes as there are in South Korea. Like they run on coffee and I'm obsessed with that. I got to get coffee like four times a day. It was just a caffeine addict's dream come true. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off. This feels amazing on the skin. A lot of powders cleansers can tend to feel kind of stripping or abrasive on the skin. And I don't get that at all with this cleanser. My skin feels so good. I'm definitely gonna be using this powder cleanser again. Like that was a lovely experience. Okay, next up I'm gonna be going in with the newest product from Crave Beauty. I actually was able to start using this a few months before the trip and I absolutely love the concept. It is the Oil La La Linoleic Acid Rich Oil Serum for Breakouts. Now this serum I was able to get a lab sample of and also go to the lab where they created the formula in the first place. And the concept is really cool because it's basically like a deeply moisturizing way of treating breakouts and acne. And I think this formula is so innovative because one of the biggest complaints I get on my channel is like, Hiram, I need a solution for my breakouts, but I have dry skin and everything dries me out. And while I don't necessarily regularly struggle with breakouts, the place where I have been loving using this is when I'm flying. And I'm actually flying out later tonight, so this is the perfect time to use this product because when I'm traveling, my skin tends to break out, but I'm always hesitant to use like a salicylic acid treatment because your skin gets so dry on the plane, right? And this is a great way of ensuring that your skin is deeply moisturized while still getting that care that is necessary for breakouts. I think it's just such a great concept and I really enjoyed using it. And actually when I was in Korea, we got to go to a lunch dinner for this product. I got to meet some other creators that were based in Korea. It was like a tasting menu with like traditional, but also mixed with modern takes of Korean food. It was so yummy. Just every freaking place I went to get food was just absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got to go to the lab where they formulate Crave Beauty products. Oh my gosh, that was such a cool experience. Like obviously I've been able to be in a lab before with the creation of my own brand, Selfless by Hiram. I'm familiar with it, but there's just nothing I love more than being in that environment because you see so many different bottles, so many different concoctions. And I was like, I legit could be in here for days learning about every single ingredient, what it does, the percentage, the formulation, how it can be mixed together, what type of formulas are created and it was such a cool experience because we got to see a batch of oil la la being created right in front of us and oh it was just amazing being in that environment helps to remind me of like why i'm so passionate about skincare and it was such a cool experience being able to talk with formulators ask them as many questions as i can and it really helped remind me of when i was in the lab for my own brand but it was really a testament to just the quality of formulas that crave beauty has and how much thought time and effort leah puts into every single one of her formulas such a cool experience and honestly in my opinion that was my personal favorite part of the trip like everything else was super fun obviously I love being able to see so much of Seoul but being in the lab was like the best of the best 10 out of 10. Okay now that that's on let's move on with the products I'm from I've recommended so many I'm from products on my channel and I've never seen this product before because it is the licorice calming cream and I love licorice root extract it's great as an antioxidant and getting rid of dark spots on the skin and because this one is calming I'm really interested to see see how it will go with the redness my skin is experiencing. Pretty lightweight too, thankfully. You never know with calming products, sometimes they can be really heavy, but that's one thing I really do love about Korean skincare. There's so many options out there that are just so lightweight and nice on the skin. Oh, and this one feels lovely. It's gonna be great for when I'm flying later tonight. Just such a nice lightweight experience. Ooh. Okay, now that my skin is nice and moisturized, I'm gonna go in with the sunscreen I love. Here's the Numbuzine Calming Water Sunscreen. This is an absolutely beautiful sunscreen formula and I was so excited when I saw it at Olive Young. It's so lightweight, there's no white cast. It feels beautiful on the skin and it offers high protection with an SPF 50. Even though my flight doesn't leave until tonight, I just wanna make sure that my skin is protected for the rest of the daylight. And this is a great one. I'm kind of mad I didn't discover it earlier. Oh my gosh, you guys, we also got to go out when I was there, which I really wanted to do because everyone always talks about like South Korea bars and clubs and how amazing they are. <laughs> Not a lot of people in the group were down, but Leah was totally down. So we ended up getting some drinks and bar hopping. And in South Korea, they have like so many different hangover remedies that I was super stoked to try. I actually brought a lot of them back for my friends and team. But yeah, before we went out, I made sure to take like multiple hangover remedies. And I was like, I'm good to go. This is going to be awesome. And I wasn't necessarily worried because I wasn't planning on getting drunk or anything. And I have a really high tolerance when it comes to alcohol. And we only went to like three bars. And I think I only got like maybe like eight 
cocktails and I don't know, maybe like three or four shots. Like it wasn't that much alcohol, but girl, I got a lot tipsier than I anticipated. I don't know what it was, but by the time we finished and climbed into the taxi, I knocked out. Like we arrived at the hotel and Leah had to like shake me awake because I was just dead to the world and even felt like a little bit hungover the next morning. So I was like, what the hell happened? Why was I so affected by the alcohol? So I don't know, but it was super fun. Sadly, because I left on a Friday, I wasn't able to go to any of the clubs, but next time I go, I definitely want to check out like the club scene, kind of see what that's all about. Oh my gosh, you guys. And Leah even got me a gift. I don't know if you guys have seen these things on social media. I swear I get their ads constantly, but it's like travel size cosmetic containers from it's called Cadence, I believe, and they have like changeable labels that you can add. And they got me a customized one that is so sweet. It's so cool. They literally like can be removed and they're like, magnetized. I don't know. Thank you, Leah. That was a very sweet gift. Okay, next I want to go in with a lip product. I was able to meet the founder of this brand. The brand is called Glow and I have been loving this lip balm. First of all, the packaging is just so cute. It's glass. It's giving luxe. And I really love the formula. The founder was amazing. It kind of feels like a lighter weight Tatcha lip mask. But the reason I really love it is because of this applicator. It is curved to work with like the contours of your lips. That makes it so easy to apply, but it's a lovely formula. It's like perfect. I love the way I'm able to apply the product with this, but I really like it because you don't have to use much of the formula at all. It does a really good job and feels so nice on the lips. And then finally, I want to use a category of product that I probably bought the most in. Mm, I did buy like eight sunscreens, but I think I bought more of these. Blotting papers. I swear to God, I've never seen so many blotting papers in my life than when I was at Olive Young and I grabbed pretty much every single one that they had. I love being able to use a good blotting paper, particularly like if I'm out at a club, at an event, or anywhere where I just want to make sure that my skin doesn't get too oily because I really do struggle with that. And right now my skin is looking a little bit greasier than my liking, so I'm going to use this one by 7 Days. Oh no, it's by Ariol. It's the 7 Days Oil Control Paper. Now, like I said, I've gotten so many blotting papers, so this is just one of them, but they pretty much all do the same thing. Just helping to reduce shine. Let's see how much it picks up. Holy shit. Yeah, and my skin looks so much more matte in that area. I really like blotting papers because they still make sure like I have the glow, the products stay on my skin, but it'll just help to get rid of a little bit of the extra greasiness that my skin can experience. Cause y'all should see me when I'm out and about, my skin gets so greasy, it's actually insane. And these by no means fix the problem at all. They're just a way to like touch up the skin. And I bought so many. Overall though, guys, I have to say my experience in Korea was so amazing. I really enjoyed it. I found so many new skincare products that I'm going to be talking about in future videos because believe it or not the ones that I've used in this video are just a fraction of the new products I discovered so you'll be seeing them make their way into my videos very soon but more than anything when it comes to this trip I enjoyed the company being able to be with James Walsh, Sunny, and Leo was such an incredible experience Crave Beauty what a cool unique experience that not many people get to have like I felt so lucky I just felt so fortunate to be able to go with Crave Beauty experience everything be able to see Seoul and it was definitely one of those moments where I was like, oh, pinch myself, I'm actually here. This is so cool. Anyway, that's the entire routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, I'll have all the products linked down below and you'll be seeing a lot more Korean skincare products included in my future videos. If you are considering visiting South Korea, I highly, highly recommend it. Make sure you follow me on TikTok as well because I'll be posting some TikToks about my experience there. And yeah, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.